hello everybody. Good evening. It's Thursday evening, I'm a little out of puff because I've just had to run back to the house. So bear with me, let me just check that I'm, I think I've just seen myself go live here. Oh, that was a little short sprint. I'll explain why in a moment. Ah, my first person has joined me. Hello, Julia, how are you? Do hope you are well. And you are, there we go. Right, let's just turn that right down. And, oh, oh, and Joanna. Oh, good, I've got some lovely people joining me. And um, good, glad to hear that, Julia. That is good to hear. We, uh... Oh, gosh, yes, I've just had to, <laughs> had to do a little sprint back into the house because um, the card that I'm making <laughs> was back in there. <laughs> I've had one of those days where... <sighs> I'm not going to complain. We, we're very lucky we have the house and and my craft room, but juggling, especially when there's just back to back to back to back conference calls. Um, your clapping's done, your rainbow's done. Oh, wonderful. Actually, I did see your rainbow, Kate. And good evening, Wendy. Lovely to see you here. Um, I'm quite gutted, actually, because we don't have any windows where our house is that kind of overlook a street or anything. All of our windows are kind of round the back of the house, so no one gets to see, um, would no, no one would get to see a, a rainbow that we might put out. So I don't know, I've either got to be extremely creative and do something across the entire street, <laughs> which would take some doing, um, or it's just not gonna get seen. So I feel like we miss out on that. There's so many things going on in the village. There's people putting teddy bears in windows for like, um, not teddy bears picnics, but um, like a teddy bear walk. You go walk around the village and tick off all where the teddy bears are, are, are sighted and, and all the, the um, rainbows and things like that. And it's lovely. Oh, we just kind of can't take part in any of it. It's a real shame. 260 days till Christmas. My goodness, I feel like I need to start thinking about my Christmas card, Simon. Um, and I'm loving Moira's posts of uh, Brighton Beach and your your friends of, where was it, Bournemouth Beach I was seeing. Unbelievable. Um, I won't go into that, but that's, it just, yeah, not good, not good. But we are here this evening and I had a few, um, oh, I had some lovely comments about um, um, a card that I made recently. It was, I don't know if you can see it, I know it's back to front, but it was this one. Um, no clapping, all rainbows, Julia. Oh, that's a shame. No, we absolutely, we were clapping. Um, I did recognise the tree punch, Kate, I did. Um, we were we were clapping like mad, but um, as I say, we kind of do it round the back of our house. Although that kind of there's um, uh, a small cul-de-sac that's nearest to the back end of our house, and I know there's a lot of key workers there, so hopefully we'll be heard from there for them. Um, I did say to Bertie that maybe next next week we should actually go and stand up in his little tree house um, climbing frame where. Maybe we'll then overlook that street and, and maybe we'll get heard a bit more even. So we've done our clapping. We're here to make this, I say, I know that's back to front for you, but this card I had on a blog hop, was it last weekend? Um, and it opens up to be like that on the inside. So kind of, I want to say all the beauty was on the inside. I don't say that to sound big headed or anything, but it was intended that it was very nominal on the front and everything was to be on the inside. But if you can see, it's it, it folds flat. So it's absolutely perfect for posting. There's not an issue there, but as you open it up, oh, got it stuck again. As you open it up, it's it's thick and it offers you depth so you can you can put things in there and I had a few people message me and say oh would you teach us how to make that willingly happily teach you how to make that um, but I won't do the flowers on the inside I'm going to do something different just so it's a different card I'm still catching my breath having left this in the house 
and uh, all of a sudden it was like two minutes to go and I had to sprint back down the length of the garden um, to uh, to go back into the house to, to pick that up so that I could show you the one that I'm actually um, going to show you. You like that? Thank you, Kate. Um, yes, I... Uh, I enjoyed making that one actually and I got absolutely engrossed in the colouring. I really lost myself in the colouring in that one so um, I feel a bit funny today. I've got my hair all up out the way but I like that when I'm really heavily working because otherwise my fringe gets in the way. So I'm going to twist you around and I'll show you kind of the basics. Then I'm going to do a card rather than opening the sort of standard way I'm going to do one that's going to open. Um, I'll show you. Right, let's pull you forward and get you twisted. Oh, I it and it didn't do it. There we go, there we go. Right, let me just get a shot of that. Okie dokie. So, okay, so this card, as I say, is the one that I'm going to... Um, the, the mechanism is what I'm going to base this on. It's not going to be exactly the same card, but the mechanism is. Um, so as I say, it's deep like that. So how this works is here it, you have two pieces of card. One is quite simply a regular card, but we do have to take a piece off of the back. Um, and the other one has got some scoring on it, which I'll show you all of that in a second. Um, how we call part of our hair a fringe? Yes, because you call it well, uh, you call it bangs. Is that right? <laughs> um, so yeah, it pops up like a little box. Do you see? Um, but you have to put that in in such a way so that it gets connected at the front and it pulls it up into the box and that's why we want to cut this last piece off here um, but what I'm going to do this evening is I would like to do one that still pops up the same and the the scoring and everything is still the same but instead of it it's going to open that way so that it will sit um, what's that landscape that's the word I'm looking for and that I'm not managing to find so the same principle will apply that that there you go, that goes into a kind of a box and will sit in there so that as it pulls it open, it will be in a box. So I'll show you all the scoring um, of what you need to do there. So, okay, so I've basically taken, this is A4, um, regular UK A4, so I have completely cut that in half so that's four and one eighth I'm an inches girl forgive me if you're centimeters and if you really are and you're struggling to convert this I will um, sort out some measurements for you but this one is quite simply half the length of an A4 and then quite simply scored in half and that is that is all you're going to do so it's as if you're making a regular um, landscape card or a, a tent card that's that way that's all you're going to do with that first and foremost. And then what you want, oh, pulling on a cable. What you want to do is, actually, am I going to be able to do that on there? No, I'm not. I need, let's use this one. You need to take off of the back half an inch. Um, you were doing the clapping with the dogs. Off one of the, oh, not the fireworks. Why do people do that? Why can't they, you know, I can see people want to make a fuss of it all and what have you, but it's handy if they let people know. Um, okay, so I'm going to take an inch off of this. Well, I hope the dogs, Vivian, are all okay again now and you've managed to settle them because um, that is no fun. No fun at all. So what I've done there, if you see, half inch off of the back and that half an inch is basically let me bring my little sample one in that is how deep that is so that is what you're the reason why you're cutting that half inch off so that's all I need to do on there for the moment I'm going to set that aside now this one you actually I'm going to do that on my on this one because it's just easier okay so 
on here, so this is the same length, I'm going to score it in half like I would do if this was going to be another one of those cards. But what I'm going to, there's two more score lines I'm going to add to this. One is at um, a half an inch here. Oh, she, there we go. Half an inch there at the beginning. And another one is a half an inch after. So there is my center score line. And I want another one that is half an inch more. Okay. So whereas the other one was quite simply just scored in the middle, um, this one is scored in the middle, a half an inch more and then a half an inch at the beginning. And then this piece has had off of the back panel, half an inch taken off. Okay. So let's get a shot of that. So you could actually... Um, do both the score lines for the centre part to begin with and then cut it in half and then add those two additional score lines you could do. So let's fold on here. Windows and door, a few cuddles and treats. Oh, bless you. I don't have to press to see more because it's a long message. I'll watch the whole video later and catch up. I don't blame you. I think they probably need some good cuddles. Bless their hearts. Someone always has to spoil it, don't they? Right, there is the box. Well, enjoy your cuddles, Vivian, if you have to go. And um, you can come back and see this later. Um, so, there's the kind of the box piece. Now, I personally like to take a tiny little bit of extra off of here just to it helps just take a tiny bit of bulk away it really does only need to be a slither and um, literally a slither um so let's get a shot of that right and then so i've got the front and i've got the inside so if you look there that will go no, I'm very tempted to take a tiny bit off that back as well. Let's just... Do... Just check my mechanism. Oh. You see? That is what's going to happen. Did you see that? Yeah? So going to do um, some die cutting here first of all and so I did previously a rectangle there which was one of the stitch rectangles which are my favorites I have to say but I'm not going to use those tonight and there is a reason I'm not going to because I'm pulling out my ovals um, and it is because with Easter coming I felt we needed some egg shapes so I've taken the biggest of the ovals and on this front piece of the what I'm going to call the box I'm going to put this oval there and then let's just take that and put that on the top and then we will just quickly, oh, I'm getting all hooked up with my lights here. We will add that through. Do you know, we have really struggled to get an Easter egg for Bertie. Really struggled. Now, we did have to go out for a few simple groceries earlier. And we've managed to get him a small bag of mini kind of eggs. Um, and that's all we've managed to get. So um, he's not a massive sweet and chocolatey person, thankfully. Um, and I say thankfully, not because I don't want him to necessarily be eating them, but because um, <laughs> we're struggling to get. So it's actually fairly handy. So here we go. That is that part. Now, I want some decoration to this. And then I'm going to add some decoration. Now, on this one I did a lot of heavy kind of like sponging in there sponged and then kind of flicked water at it to give that I don't know if you can see it that speckledy sort of look 
Um, they had loads on Wednesday. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> um, never mind, Julian, never mind. He will, he'll manage. He will survive without. So, Artisan Textures. This is just, this is one of those, what I call one of my go-tos for just quite simply adding texture by ink and um, the speckledness and what have you that we've got here. So I'm going to pull these two images out, which is that one. This is an old set and I never um, added the images to this. So, and I'm going to pull forward. You're wondering where this is going, I'm sure because I haven't really told you what I'm using. But hey, pool party and crumb cake. We'll use crumb cake in a minute. And I'm going to use pool party. Now let's just add, is that big enough? Oh, just. Okay, so I am going to, looking through here, I want to stamp onto this piece. So it with that in the way, that's going to be tricky. So I'm just going to keep that and open it up. Um, cheese, cheese Easter eggs. Well, actually, Kate, it was m and that Graham nipped into today. He went elsewhere and couldn't, well, the queue was huge, um, but it wasn't so bad to get into m and in Huntingdon. So he went into there and in there he only managed to get um, these little packets of like mini foil covered eggs so to speak um right but still we've got something but we just haven't got so this is the large one that i'm using here i've inked it up and i'm going to stamp it off and then i'm just going to add a couple of bits there so that it's seen through now. Do I want another one there? I might well add one more in the middle there. Uh, maybe like, yeah, perfect. That's what I'm after. So last week I didn't clean as I went and I came in here the next morning and oh my goodness, it looked like a bomb had hit it. Um, so I'll try and do a bit more as I go. A cheese Easter egg I'm still thinking of there. You've got me thinking now. I do love my cheese. Okay, so there is that. Then, it's got a bit of an edge on it. So I would now like to, I need a scrap of paper. Okay, first of all, I did a little bit of die cutting earlier because I thought you're not going to want to see me die cut this many pieces. So since we're talking about Easter eggs, that's exactly what I'm doing. So this is still from the same oval set and I've just used the two smallest um, oval shapes. And what I'm now going to do is if you think of Cadbury's mini eggs... Um, I am going to, they kind of, Cadbury's mini eggs have kind of like a little speckled touch to them. So I'm going to stamp off twice and add a little bit of speckling to each of these. In the morning, the, yeah, no, Graham went this evening, um, kind of, I say after work, after sort of the time that most people will have given and that was all he could get. So, yeah, we, we've struggled. But, hey, if that's all we're struggling to get, it's no bad thing. It's, um, there, there are some speckly eggs. <laughs> and then I think we're going to bake a chocolate cake anyway because it's Graham's birthday coming up soon so I think we're going to do him a ch um, like a chocolate 
chocolate cake that we can have and turn into a birthday cake for him. Right, keep those for, and those for the inside. Okay, you can't find flour of any type. I saw some, um, some report or something about why. I never had a chance to actually read why. Um, but yes, yeah, seemingly there, there are good reasons. Now, wiggly bug dies. I'm using these because I have them, but you could quite simply kind of like just zigzag your scissors and create some, I'm going to create some grass, um, but I'm going to use the dye that creates the grass for me. Um, and I'm also going to use that little, that little flower. I've hardly used this at all. In fact, um, it is mainly the, the grass that I've used it for, but boy, is it useful. So I am going to die cut. I've got, this is kind of like the length of the, the card. So it's going to need me to put this through twice um, and in fact at the same time as that going through I will die cut a little flower there um, I haven't been over to Johnson's for ages Kate I like it there they do some really nice stuff in their place there um, oh my little flower has just shifted um, but yeah I believe everywhere's having problems with um, with getting flour of all, doesn't matter, it seem to matter what type it is, whether it's like a gluten. Um, oh, I think I lost you for a second there, but hopefully, am I back? I hope so. I think I am, but I think you lost me temporarily there. Obviously a connection issue. Um, so apologies for that. Obviously something not, um, not good there. Right. Okay, we are nearly there. Oh, whack my elbow. So there's a couple of flowers. There's my grass. Let me just put that in there. And take that out. I'm back okay. Oh, good, good. It, it suddenly said something about connection and try again. And then suddenly... I was back in the room, <laughs> as they say. Right, let's move that. And let's just get those bits out of the way. It has been an absolutely stunning day out there today. Um, oh, has it, Carol? I must admit, these last couple of days, I've not really been watching. I've tried to home in on a few um, and then... Uh, well, we're still struggling. Hubby has very much back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back conference calls and it really does take over. And unless I'm elsewhere, um, I struggle to hear and listen in. And obviously I can't play them up loud and then I have to put headphones on Then it's unfair on Bertie. So in the end, I'm like, do you know what? I'll just have to watch it later. Now, what I've done here is I've cut, I think that's about a two-inch strip. Yes, that's a two-inch strip, the length of my card. Now the beauty of this is, although I kind of, I want one, it creates two, which is just genius. So you can layer two up and really make it look like real rough grass there. Um, ah, now we, I think are expecting, ah, oh, Rebecca, lovely to have you here. Not a problem, not a problem. I've not long started, but I'm giving you, uh, I've given you all the um, details of how to, how to start this off. Now I have cut this mildly longer than that, so I'll need to trim it down, but I can do that when I actually stick it down. Um, but yeah, that's the beauty of cutting it wider than I need it. I can then make use of both pieces um, to add there for this is, is it soft sea foam I think it is beautiful soft color love it so there is that um, this is 
It's that purple posy, petal pink, so saffron, and then just some very vanilla there um, with your crumb cake is what I've stamped on top of it. Um, okay, so now I have taken the liberty of doing a couple more little pieces here um, beforehand so that you can, I can spare you all of that. So let's start with the front of this. So front, the back is half an inch shorter, okay? Um, can't wait for happy to get the conference calls. Honestly, Vivian, they go on and on. Don't get me wrong. Of course, I totally understand. And I, I, I want to say, you know, I don't mind it. But boy, it just really has taken over. Um, it's just a bit too much at, the, at times um, and stops us from doing absolutely everything and anything, really. Um, OK, now I'm going to add, since I've got my scoreboard here, Sometimes when I'm doing a, a, a like when I'm doing a, a front that is really really simple like this, I like to add the tiniest bit of detail um, in the. Oh, I think I went again then. So I do hope I am back again. Um, in the sense of I'm going to come up around about an inch, I think, or or just a bit more, but roughly. And I am. Do I want it indented or? actually we'll do it the other side we'll do it the other side so it pops out so just over half an inch I'm going to score down look at me I look right cat candid there don't I score down two lines so that do you see that it's just the tiniest bit of detail good I'm so pleased I am back Vivian I am super pleased about that um, so yeah real fine detail but that is all it is there's no embossing folder needed um, I am going to add gosh this connection really is not great tonight is it so we're going to add some grass there like that in a moment and I'm going to choose these three I think to begin with now Easter eggs are not totally oval so I want to kind of disguise some of it because they'd, they're they a bit more kind of like fat bottomed and smaller topped so I'm going to, where's my glue, are you like that? Good, it's a uh, yeah, you see, that's not really egg shaped, but once I kind of disguise it a little bit, you won't really, won't really know. Um, if we do that, and that, and then add a bit there. I do love this soft sea foam, it's a really beautiful colour very lovely and then I'm tempted to stick that one up on dimensionals where are they let's have a look and I'll just use a little snippet from the side here so yeah I'm probably going to give this I want to say to Bertie uh, that depends if he comes down to say good night and sees it um, so there's just a little bit of extra, extra height to that. Uh, we will add, where were those little flowers? We will add a little flower with a glue dot. And then in a moment, we'll go to the inside and we'll start adding some detail to the inside. Where's my... Oh, okay, oh God, does this happen to you? It's, I Sometimes that, I don't know what I do with it. it looks like I've been eating it or something. Um, do a little bow of that. 
Yeah, I think one of Graham's colleagues out in uh, New Jersey said that they've had real rain and thunder and he said, oh gosh, that means we're due to have it in about four days time. And I think we are due a little bit of rain on, gosh, I was looking earlier, I think it's either, is it Monday? Sunday or Monday, I think it is. So another little glue, got, glue dot and we will add that to the centre there and I'll just trim trim that off so really simple was it really windy there as well today yeah there his um his head office is in New Jersey um gosh it's been a long while since I went out there I escorted him once um to a, a business meeting out there and then we went over to to New York to spend a little bit of time there as well um, but that was ages ago, absolutely ages ago. Right, so with, um, oh gosh, where in New Jersey? It's Everest Re. I don't know if you know, I'm not sure on the area, um, forgive me. Um, if he was to come in here, he'd be able to say, but that's, uh, yeah, I'm not very very up on the the whereabouts in New Jersey. Um, ah, Lisa, how are you? You'll have to catch up on replay. Yes, you will have to catch up on replay. This is the one that we're making, but the one that pops up that you might have seen earlier the week, but I'm doing a an Easter version at the moment. Um, so where am I up to? We need uh, possibly North Jersey, actually, possibly so, yes. Um, okay, we need, with these Easter eggs, an Easter bunny. So, I have used this set a couple of times, but I love it. And he is just such a lovely Easter bunny that I just think he needs to be used. I also would like to use the little bee uh, bunny. Bunny and bee, bee and bunny. And I think I'm going to use that sentiment. Um, and I thought these little flowers here, not that I'm going to necessarily use them, looked very like that. So it kind of, it all pulls in together. But that is a little flower that came from the, um, just so happened to come from the, what did I call that? Wiggly bugs dies. Um, I say, you, you, you could use any flower that you've got and you could also just hand cut the, the grass. I've just used it because I happen to have it. Um, so before I misplace these, let's get them all. Isn't he cute? I do love him. Right, let's get some scrap. Where is... There's some scrap. Okay. So, memento, because I'm going to colour him in, uh, this cute bunny, with uh, our blends pens. So, let's give him a, a nice, isn't it cute? Super, super cute. Now, whilst I have the black ink out, I'm going to add, let's make sure, yeah. Gorgeous, cute. Hopefully I am back in the room because that connection is really quite rubbish this evening, isn't it? I don't think I've ever had it do this to me several times. Um, but there we go. Hopefully you'll see me kind of in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Right, where am I up to? There he is. And I have picked out some colours here. What have I picked out? I thought we'd go for a little brown bunny. So I have picked out light crumb cake, dark crumb cake, and then petal pink uh, for ears and feet. And then I've also pulled forward the, um, what do they call it? The colour lifter. Um, I was just call it my white, but um, so first and foremost, I'm going to lay down and go down underneath his nose and his little teeth because otherwise he could end up with brown teeth and well 
He might not have looked after them, but we'll try and give him some nice white teeth. And it's around his ears there. Can you see that? Let's bring you in a bit closer. So there's... Yeah, we would normally do an Easter egg hunt when we... Because quite often over Easter, we go... Um, we usually go glamping. Love it. I did say to uh, to hubby, perhaps we should set the um, the tent up at the end of the garden and pretend. Um, but no, we won't. I think there's a lot of work probably for not an awful lot. And I'm sure we probably won't end up sleeping in it, so... Right, we'll add a little bit of a bit of a bit of shadow here. Have you noticed that I can't speak when I'm colouring? Just blend that in a little bit, soften that soften that through. Ah, Jacqueline, lovely to have you here. Yes, not a problem. As you, as you know, Facebook Lives, they're recorded, they're here forever, so you can always come back and re-watch, catch the details that you need to, replay it when you want to. Um, it's just lovely to have you here now. So um, stick for as long as you're able. So, yeah, I'm just going to add some... Some shadowing, put a little bit more under there, put it over here perhaps, and isn't he cute? He's just so adorable. That's an animal, that's a pet I've never had. I've never had a bunny rabbit, and in fact I've never had like gerbils, uh, no, not uh, not gerbils, um, guinea pigs, but I did have hamsters as a kid. Um, so there's that. Now, actually, I'm going to add a tiny bit more to there. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. You always need to make sure that you really push those lids on um, because they, uh, being alcohol pens, they will dry out. So let's just add some a little pink button nose and he'd probably have quite grubby feet actually but I'm going to give him some little pinky bits. It is such a cute bunny Linda isn't it? It's lovely. Um, oh you've got I see I love the lop-eared bunnies that's the type of bunny rabbit I would have always loved um, but yeah you know, when you sort of think, it all sounds lovely, but I probably wouldn't have the time. Now I'm just going to lighten that up a bit. Which will lessen his little... Isn't he cute? It's just so lovely. I just love that bunny rabbit. Um, so there is that. Uh, a tiger head. Oh, that's a new one on me completely lost me there um now whilst i've got this i'm going to add i'm going to use the bullet end for this one because i don't want to go too mad there i'll have to have a look for that and see um should say lion what a lion head um bunny rabbit you mean um I'll have to, oh, I don't know all the different types. I only know of a lop-eared, um, which I just think is just, yeah, gorgeous. They're just so sweet with their big floppy ears. They're just gorgeous. I don't know whether Bertie would be all right with them, actually, because he's not good with um, animal hair. So, um, yeah, he's uh, he probably wouldn't wouldn't be very good with bunny rabbits and what have you but you can't really hug a goldfish can you I had a few of those as well we did have a cat once and I did have a dog when I was a kid 
But yeah, we did once think about getting a dog, but yeah, Bertie can't, uh, he comes out in hives and oh, he does struggle. So just quite simply, moving the card stock more so than the paper, I am just, he's got like a little kiss curl on his head. <laughs> a little kiss curl there. And I'll take, so did you see last night I was sat, it was such a beautiful evening. I was sat out on the patio, just assembling cards. I wasn't stamping or whatever, um, but I was mainly just assembling and cutting and sticking and that sort of thing. Um, but I was doing it by um, by like a little lantern. Oh, you've got two lop ears, Heather. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love, just love. So go on, what names have you got for them? Are they equally as cute names? Um, I just think they uh, they look so... Um, would Doeful be right to say? And, oh, just gorgeous. But yeah, I was sat out on the patio last night, had the patio heater going and stayed out till quite late. There, how cute is he? How cute. Oh, hello, Emma. How are you? I do hope you're well. I saw your rainbow in your window. Not quite, obviously, literally, but um, via your your photo. Um, I was saying earlier, I'm really gutted because you know where we live and we've got no windows that overlook anywhere where anyone would see. Riff and raff. Oh, I love it. Riff and raff. I used to have a neighbour that had uh, once had two cats and they were jigsaw and puzzle. I love it when the, the two names go together. Such a cute bunny. It really is, isn't it? Um... So, I am now going to add my eggs in. I'm going to kind of do a lot of the assembly before I then put this in. Um, so, let's get shot of a bit of that. I'm going to add that there. Oop. I love it, riff and raff. <laughs> That's funny. That's a nice big Easter egg. Look, it's bigger than him nearly. <laughs> and then we will add, because I'm adding two layers of grass, I'll put one up a little bit and then one down. Um, so, there's, oops. that on there but yeah by doing this I can really kind of apply some pressure and that and then I can trim that off a little bit in a minute um go <laughs> wreck a proportion of an easter egg we've really struggled Emma to get any we've really struggled to get for Bertie actually um yeah poor little thing no but then he's not thankfully a massive um when, I remember once we were away, we often go away glamping over Easter or around the Easter period sometimes. Not every year, depends when Easter falls, um, but we do often. And um, I never forget, we took him into a shop and we hadn't actually got his Easter egg. So we were like, son, choose an egg. What would you like? Expecting, you know, your child to choose the biggest or or whatever but no he chose one of those tiny little kind of lint um bunny rabbits um and it really was just the little tiny small one i mean hey he was happy with that but we did kind of think is that really all you want right i'm going to trim that with my super long scissors i wanted it to be longer than not just because i would rather be trimming it down than it have had been too short <laughs> cute so now we will add uh, I probably don't need to we'll add some in the background there now this is where it gets a bit sort of fingery you probably find actually I know many of my ladies use tweezers which you probably find would help so we'll add one in there oops sorry just knocked the camera and we'll add a 
another there and we could I will trim one down we could add another one in the foreground maybe yeah I think I will so I want to put a little bit of glue on that side this time and add that there You're always using tweezers. It's funny, I don't, I notice a lot of my ladies when they come to class do. Um, I don't, but when I do use them, I'm kind of, I think to myself, I can sort of see why, why they would do that. Um, isn't it cute? Cute. Um, so there's that. Then I've pulled forward just to match up with the bunny. I've pulled forward a little bit of scrap um, crumb cake uh, ready for my sentiment. Now, uh, I think because this is quite soft, it needs to be soft. So as much as I'm tempted to just use black ink on there, you know me and a bit of heat embossing, but you could quite simply just go black on there. Now I'm going to try and make this super white so I'm going to use white uh, actually white ink um, so there we go for that and yeah have a wonderful Easter it's going to be a very different Easter isn't it um, Oh, the little Tesco's, that's a good idea. Gosh, I should have thought about that, Debbie. That is a brilliant idea. I do hope you are keeping well. Um, it seems like it's been ages I'm missing all my classes and all my ladies in class. Really am. That's uh, the one thing I've really noticed. Instead of doing on black, I thought I'd do on crumb cake. Is it supposed to be like that? Um, it definitely doesn't want to be super runny. Uh, mine is definitely much more, um, it is thicker, I would say, than any of the other inks. So I would say, Jacqueline, yeah, it probably should be. Um, it's much tackier. And so I would, I would say, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this is one of the old um, ink pads, but um, it is definitely, uh, Perhaps, you know, Julie, yours was very runny. I have had one in the past that was crazy runny. Crazy, crazy runny. Now, do I want to banner this? Cut it. I don't know how. Let me see. Do I want it? I won't ever get rid of that punch. I love it. Yeah, let's do a banner. I haven't done a banner like that for a little while. I was going to slant it, but no, I haven't done a banner. Um, we'll use that one to go there. Okay. You're probably thinking, when is she going to put that on the inside of her card? I will in a moment, I promise you. Um just thought I would do all the assembly first. Now you possibly would want to make up a card base once to be sure you've mastered it, so to speak. Uh, what did I do with that? Let's tie this in with the front by... God, look at that. What a mess. I should sit and kind of wind it on something else, really. Um, oops. I do love this linen thread. I'm a sucker for linen, though. Linen clothes, linen napkins. Love linen. I love natural. And another little glue dot. Add that there. Right. Here we go. So, let's just move that out the way and let's, before I have an accident. Um, Linny, how are you? Lovely to see you here. So, 
we are now going to add this together. So first and foremost, I want to put this thin strip. So if you remember when we did the initial scoring, we scored in half and then we scored quarter, uh, half an inch beyond that point and a half an inch at the beginning. So on this bit, good, I'm pleased you are well, Lynn, and uh, hopefully you've had a good day today. Um, you like this, Mum. Um, so I'm going to attach this piece first. Um, now you can actually leave this piece out because what I want to do is I'm going to line that up to the inside edge, put some adhesive on here, and then close it so it attaches to the front. Yes? I hope you're with me there. Now I'm going to use some tear and tape for this because I think that will probably... You may want to put a tiny little bit... Now this does tear, but I am going to use scissors. Um, you may want to put a tiny bit of... Um, wet glue on top of your tear and tape to give it a bit of wiggle space uh, for doing this. I, however, am feeling stupidly brave and I'm going to wing it and probably regret it. But I'm going to take all of that off. I am going to... So I've got this. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Whoops. I've lined this up just forward this to the right hand side of that that crease so it is right into the crease it's not over it it's right into it and then once I've got that fully lined up nice and straight I'm going to close it up and press it yeah so what will now happen is as I open the card it pulls forward this piece Okay, so you'll see, if I do it from that side, you'll see it pulls that forward. So can you therefore see that if that is tucked in underneath, there is the box. And because of that half an inch that we've cut off of the back, when it's flat, it then becomes the same size as a normal normal cards. So what we now need to do is we now need to put some adhesive on the back here. Now what you want to think of there is that it's going to sit like that. So make sure you don't go too far beyond. So just keep it in within there. Now I do like to use my wet glue here just because when you do put this together you you have got that little bit of wiggle space. You like that. It's brilliant. I love this. It's a it's way simpler than you would believe. Um and there you go. You see it? There's the the mechanism and there's my my little card. Isn't he cute with his Easter eggs waiting to be handed? But the front is really quite simple. Now, you could put something. I did toy, actually, with just putting the word Easter there. I did toy with putting half of that sentiment. Oops. And putting have a wonderful. But I thought it looked a bit odd to just be have a wonderful. Um, but you could put just Easter on the front. You like that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you could also put another. Where's it gone? You could put another little be there. In fact, I think I might. Let's put a little bee. Another bee. Where's my black ink gone? Here. You like that. I'm so pleased. Cute little card. And the mechanism is the same regardless of which orientation of opening you do. So I will... Uh, what did I do with the yellow pen? There it is. Um, let's just add yellow to my bumblebee oh and did you see anybody that tuned in last week if you saw me do the bumblebee the honey um the honeybee set um i received from one of my viewers one of my lovely lovely followers um the mug 
I received it in the week. How how wonderful was that? I was so, so, so chuffed. Um, but there you go. Really sweet. Um, oh, bless you, Soraya. Love, bless your heart. Um, oh, look, I should have been careful there because, of course, bear in mind, and I stupidly didn't think of that, um, the blends pens being alcohol will seep through. So just bear that in mind. I should, perhaps should have done that with um, a watercolour pencil or something. But there, super, super cute. Um, you could bling that up with a little bit of um, sequins, Wink of Stella, whatever. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, real simple. Um, but as I say, if that had been that opening, the the same applies in the fact that you've got your two card bases. Yeah. And just pull that up a tiny bit. Um, I could put a flower in there just to cover that. Or I could just write over it. Because chances are, because I can't write on this side, I'll probably write on that side. Um, or you could always write on the back. Um, or add another flap or, or whatever you wanted. And of course, with the piece that I've die cut from there, you could make a nice little gift tag out of that and not not waste that um but yes if this were like this one was opening in that direction i would cut off half an inch off of this back panel here and then this was scored in half half an inch more half an inch from the the beginning end there's that and that is exactly the same mechanism as that orientation you like? Um, oh, Lauren, how lovely to have you here. Bless your heart. Thank you for joining me. Well, I hope I've just come to the end, actually, Lauren, I'm afraid. Um, but no doubt you can you can have a little look back. This card was based on this one from earlier this week. Um, and here's an Easter version with the cute little Easter bunny who I hope uh, will come and visit you all this weekend. And just as you say, um, Soraya, I hope you all have a very nice Easter and um, you all stay safe and well and home and look after your loved ones and keep them close and um, I will be back again next Thursday don't know what I will create but if you see something on my blog and you've uh, just as I had here somebody I had two or three people message me about that particular card and they just said you know how do you put it together could you show us so if there's ever anything that you see and you like just shout and um, if I think it's a doable one on a Facebook Live, I will do exactly that. So you take care and thanks for tuning in. Bye everyone. Bye.